Wow and wow, pomp and glory. Um, that was Beethoven's Fifth Symphony and a demonstration that music really had evolved. I mean, if you think about where we're coming from, we came back from that original music hundreds and thousands of years ago from uh, single instrument music to entire symphonies controlled by a creative mind by like Beethoven. We're going to skip forward now 50 years and who we're sampling from 1850. And you can see the space of time we're moving is narrowing down. We're not jumping 500 years in the future, 1,000 years. We're jumping down to 100 years and now 50 years because the rate of change is, is incredible. So from 1850, we're going to Chopin. And Chopin um, was a, an emotional uh, change in music it, it was very very different and who we've chosen as our demonstration of music in the year 1850 is Chopin's Nocturne uh, number uh, 2 up, up 9 number 2 uh, enjoy this
a very beautiful piece of music. It's almost a shame to interrupt it with me. But again, wonderful, stunning. Um, and you know what? Let's just compare that to a little bit of the first piece of music from um, ancient Babylon, 2000 BC. <laughs> Well, we certainly have come a long way. Well, folks, that kind of concludes our first show of a two-parter, The History of Music. We've covered from 2000 BC, a Babylonian wedding song, on to Ugarit in Syria, 1400 BC, the Hurrian hymn. We went to 1000 BC, an ancient Egyptian love song that didn't really sound very loving. And then we went to 500 BC, ancient Greece, and their favoured instrument, the Aulus. We skipped ahead by a thousand years to ancient Byzantium, where Istanbul is today. And then we moved across the world to 700 AD to the Tibetan Empire with some of their Buddhist mantra and chanting. We went further north across to 900 AD around the time of the Vikings to where they're from. And we talked uh, or we listened to some Kulning which is herding music, and it's a single voice, absolutely beautiful. And then we came back into the centre heart of Europe to medieval religious influence with the Codex Calixtines, and then zipped across to Mongolia for Tuvan throat singing. And then we came back to Europe again in our massive tour of music across the centuries and went through some Lionel Power Gloria, John Dunstable Sanctus, Greensleeves, to kind of capture the medieval spirit. And then we move on. And who we just heard in the last while was Bach to cover 1700, Beethoven 1800, Chopin 1850. And that brings us up to the cusp of the 20th century. And that's what we're going to leave you with now. We're going to leave you with a piece uh, which is an absolutely stunning piece. All of you know it. Even people who do not like classical music know this piece, have heard this piece. It was written in 1890, but it was first published in 1905. So it kind of perfectly captures the very end of our show today. So it's, it was created in the 19th century, and it brings us into the 20th century. Join us again um, for next week's show. We'll be talking about 20th century music and the evolution of music across it, how African tastes influenced North American music and gave us pop, how different Chinese music came into 1980s uh, style popular music as well, and the different types of modern classical music which are underneath the surface of the public's awareness um, that people may not know about unless you're specifically into classical music, but it's still there in the background. Anyway, join us for next week's show. We'll be going through 20th century. And we hope you enjoyed the show, A History of Music from 3000 BC to 1900. We're going to leave you now with a bit of Debussy. And here's Claire de Lune.